At the program, we have one mission. That's to develop better leaders and create more cohesive teams. We're not strength coaches, we're not volleyball coaches. We develop better leaders and we create more cohesive teams through shared adversity. Two minutes, let's go, two minutes. First day was a lot of physical tests. So we had to do like push-ups and mountain climbers and planks um, all as one. So if we fell out of line or if one person was off, we had to start over. And then we had to distinguish different leaders throughout in each drill. Um, so each person kind of had a different role in stepping up for our team. If you're not holding each other accountable, we will. I, I haven't really done anything where it was just like super, like it was literally down to the very last detail. And if you did something wrong, like we started over. And I haven't really been pushed that like mentally that hard in like ever. So yeah, that was, it was really different of that kind of program. It's not what we needed. We need leaders and teammates to step up when it's hitting the fan, when we're down in a game, when we're not playing well personally. That's when we need good team leaders and good teammates. Let's see if we can still do it, Sarah, when it's hitting the fan. Let's go, push-ups. You, know, you always see how different people react to different stressors, and, and really in athletics, you never know. I mean, you, how do you create that anxiety? How do you create that adversity that puts them in that moment? Um, we all get in that moment at some point, but real hard to recreate in practice, but the program was able to do that for us and have players learn that the way that they control themselves in those moments is really important to the way that they go about their business when they are you know, on the court. I think my favorite part was definitely the fireman carry. We got a chance to not only become organized all across the board, but also listen to people who had injuries how do we surpass those injuries and move forward through them? And I thought we did a really great job with that, especially on that first day. You got 20 more yards, let's go. Big Ten Championship here! Great job, Chloe, great job. Let's go, Brad, through it! Let's go, finish hard! Nice job, hold it, hold it. Put down your partner. Hell yeah, I got it. Out of way, Everything that we've done yesterday, exercise wise, we're going to be doing today. Now, is this like people do a little as you can swimming? I know, but I'm not Yeah. We're going to give you the final way to get across the pool. If you need to go down to the shower and physically run across the bottom, I don't care. Just find a way to get from one end, one side of the pool to the other. Are you supposed to attack out the pool and attack the next exercise? We're attacking for 16 minutes. It's one team with one heartbeat. I think the most challenging part about the second day was the listening. Um, it was a very loud atmosphere. We had splashing going on in the pool. We had a lot of people yelling. We had two teams doing two different things at once. So the listening and making sure that you paid attention to every detail was one of the most difficult parts of that second day. But my favorite thing was just like how everyone kind of bonded through it all. And I felt a lot closer to my teammates. Being a freshman, you're like coming in and you obviously don't like know everyone super well, but I feel like over the last two days, like I've really like gotten to know my teammates better, gotten to see some of their strengths and some of their weaknesses also, but it was just a really good bonding experience for all of us. You learn a lot about yourself when you're put in situations that you aren't comfortable. So personally, for me, I'm not a good swimmer and um, this morning we were in a pool. So that was uncomfortable for me and I had to be put in a leadership role in that position. So just learning that you know you need to be a good leader even in uncomfortable positions. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Be confident in your abilities. Be confident pushing yourself further than you think you can. Because if you limit yourself this year and in life, you're never gonna reach your full potential. I think the fact that the coaches are willing to put us through this kind of challenge really means they care about not only our future for this program, but as a team, they care about how we work well together. And they've thrown us a curveball that helped us realize our weaknesses, our strengths, and how we can work through them. 
players were recognizing, you know, what's important. Uh, they, of course, are coming from the military um, and the things that are important there. Yes, they're important on a team. And how do we want to go about one direction? Like, we all have to be on the same page if we're going to go and try to win a championship. And it's never easy, never easy for them to go into battle. It's the same thing. We have to be able to follow the plan and follow the mission. And that's what this is about.